Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup using the new The Rock Pro 2 palette. I do have another tutorial using this palette on a nighttime look. This is the daytime look. Very simple on the eyes. I wanted to concentrate more on the skin. For summer, you always want that glowing bronze skin, but you also don't want it to melt off your face since it's so hot and humid. So I hope that the tips that I use help you. Please let me know what you think down below in the description box and subscribe to my channel. Starting out with Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. This has a shimmer glow effect to your skin. Also helps your foundation stick better to your skin and last longer. So here I'm just applying that all over my face. And then once I'm done rubbing it in, I go with my fingertips and kind of press it into my skin. That way my pores absorb the product and it will also help hide fine lines and pores. The foundation I am using is Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. It is a long wear foundation and it is also more of a matte foundation. I prefer these in the summer because in the summer you're sweating more, you produce a few more oils, it's natural for you to look a bit shinier. So when I go in with a shiny dewy finish foundation, I look super greasy by the end of the day. So I prefer a more long wearing matte foundation and it tends to wear a lot better on my skin during the warmer months and also with the humidity. And I prefer to blend this out with my damp Real Techniques Beauty Blender. This I prefer over the original Beauty Blender. I find that it's a lot softer. Priming my eyes with Laura Mercier Concealer. I like this the best because it doesn't crease and it also hides any discoloration that I have on my eyes. And to blend that out and set it, I just take my sponge again and blend that out. That way you don't have it too much concealer on your eyes when you go in with your eyeshadows. Using Sigma's E25 brush, I am taking the shade Nectar and I'm going to be using this as my transition shade. So I just do little circular motions, windshield wiper motions and place that in my crease. I do take it also pretty high up right before I would place my eyebrow highlight. Now if this is too light for you, go with the darker transition shade. I'm very fair so this works perfectly for me. taking a clean blending brush and blending out any harsh lines. Going back with that brush, taking the shade right underneath Nectar called Mocha, I am placing this in the outer part of my eye and also bringing this through my crease. I am not taking this shade as high as I took Nectar. On a flat shader brush, I am taking the shade Rose and placing this on my eyelid. I'm not taking this all the way out to that outer corner though, just concentrating more on the middle and inner part of my eyelid. Then going in with beige, I am placing this in my tear duct and then blending it out. And then I also take this shade on my brow bone and flip my brush over and blend it out again. Using NYX Super Skinny Eyeliner Marker, I'm creating a very small cat eyeliner. Using Laura Mercier Concealer, I am applying that underneath my eye. I also take it down the side of my nose. If you don't get redness there, you don't have to do that step, but I do get redness there. So I like to tap that first in with my finger and then go in with my damp sponge again and blend everything out. I also apply this uh, right above my lip, my chin, 
and my forehead. And I also use this as a highlighting since my concealer is a little bit lighter than my foundation. If you just put that underneath your eyes, your face looks a little bit odd. So to balance everything out, just put your concealer in the places that I did and blend them out. To set my under eye concealer, I am using Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and I don't like to powder my whole face. I find that if I powder too much and I'm sweating throughout the day, my foundation looks patchy. If I don't powder as much, my foundation lasts longer. So I just set underneath my eyes and then wherever else I had placed my concealer. So my chin and my forehead mainly just in the T-zone. To brighten my eyes, I'm using Rimmel Scandalize in this new shade, and this just helps make your eyes appear larger. Then I am going in with the same shade we placed on the outer part of our eye, I believe it was Mocha, on a straight cut brush, and I am just buffing this out underneath my lash line. We need some balance since we have the black wing liner on the top to just add a little bit of shade and definition underneath our lower lash line. Applying generous amounts of your favorite mascara on both top and bottom lashes. I opted not to wear false lashes since this is more of a summer daytime look. If you like false lashes, go ahead and apply those now. To contour, I am using NYX Matte Bronzer in the lightest shade available with my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And I am first contouring out my cheeks. And then I also like to take this along my hairline. Since I do have a bigger forehead, placing the bronzer around the edge of your hairline makes your forehead appear smaller. I also like to apply this along my jawline and blend down. Taking a big fluffy brush, I am blending everything out, making sure I don't have any harsh lines. To add a bit of bronzy shimmer, I am taking Revlon's highlighting palette in the shade Peach Glow. Works out perfectly for me because again, I'm super fair, so this is good for bronzer. For my skin tone, if it's too light, go ahead and go in with your favorite bronzing powder that you use. To add some color to my cheeks, I am using NYX Stick Blush in the color Orchid, and I first tap that onto my cheeks and then with a clean finger, blend that out. I like to use a stain in the summer before I go in with the powder because again, if you're sweating and if you tend to lose your blush throughout the day, this will make sure that even after your powder has worn off, you still have the color of the stain. Then for my powder blush, I'm going with Wet n Wild's blush in Pearlescent Pink. Using that same powder brush, I am blending out any harsh lines that my blush could have created. To highlight, I am using this highlighting shade from a Tarte palette, and I'm placing that on the high points of my cheeks, and I also blend that around into my eyebrow highlight. I also like to place this on my cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, and right on my forehead where the top part of my eyebrows arch. Our last step to make sure that everything lasts is using a setting spray. My favorite is NYX Dewy Finish. To make sure that my lips last all day, I am first going in with a lip liner. This is Jordana's Tawny, and I'm outlining my lips, and then I also fill them in with this lip liner. Then I am going in with Revlon Just Bit and Kissable in the color Honey. I also like to use a stain to make sure that even after this wears off, it has stained my lips and that it still has some color. Then to finish it off and add a little bit of gloss, I am using NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.